we've got our media smart TV sitting here ready to take everything that we can throw at it. Now let me set up the sort of environment where a media smart TV flourishes. Obviously, hooking up a high definition source is going to be one of our top priorities. That source can be from our cable or satellite provider or it can come from our PC. Now over the past few years, your computer has become the center of your digital life. An average regular PC now is home to pictures, to music, to computer home movies. And if you've got one of these, which is an HP Media Center PC, then you can use your computer for your TV viewing as well. I got one of these at home, an HP Media Center PC, and we love it. Not only is it our family room PC, but it's also our PVR, our personal video recorder. It's changed our lives. We record all the TV shows that we want to watch on our Media Center PC. Then we play them back on our TV, but not when the shows are airing, but when we have time to watch them. It's TV viewing on our schedule, and it's changed our viewing habits completely. So let's look at the key components. Software we'll look at in a minute. Let's begin with the hardware. And the Media Center PC from HP, they have been committed to this line for quite a while. This is, I think, the fourth or fifth in the generation. But the hallmark of the Media Center PC is usually a big hard drive. This one has a 500 gigabyte hard drive because we want to be able to digitize a lot of television shows. It also has a tuner card as one of the video cards so that we can plug a, a video source in like our cable connection and we can then view our shows on our computer and we can record our shows, digitize our shows on the computer as well. So the tuner card is a big part of the media center. There's some nice extra bells and whistles on this particular model such as a media drive which allows us to add a removable drive for more storage which I guarantee you'll appreciate having. Now let's look at the software, the Media Center Edition software. Now some of the tools that we find in the Media Center software are redundant. They appear in other areas of the computer. For example, a lot of the tools that we just looked at as far as dealing with pictures and movies and music on the Media Smart TV, those are replicated in the Media Center software as well. So you can choose where you want to use them. But the feature that isn't replicated that I want to talk about today is this one, which is My TV. This is where the Media Center software becomes your personal video recorder and it really shows well in this area. So the main area of the My TV area allows us to watch TV, to watch recorded TV, to look at a guide, to search and to view movies, to look at listings for movies. And I want to begin things in the guide because the guide is truly a marvel. Now this gives us 14 days of programming information for every station in our area. Now when we first set up the Media Center software, you're asked where you are, what your postal code is, you enter that information and then you agree to a license to be able to download this information. They also ask who your provider is, whether it's a satellite provider or whether it's a cable provider, to make sure that all the channels and all the listings for your area are covered. So all the shows that we get here on this cable carrier are covered in the guide. Now it's important to note that if I have a PVR or a set-tops box from uh, the existing cable provider, they're going to charge me extra in most cities for the guide, but it's included for free with your Media Center software. So that's one nice bonus. So now I can scroll through all the shows that are on in my area. And if I want any information on them, any details and specifics about episodes or who's playing in what game and what time it is, all of that information is here in the guide. Now the fact that we have the guide also gives us some extra tools for planning our TV viewing. And by going into the search area, we can look for the shows that we want to watch, find out when they're on, and then we can plan and record either the individual episodes that we want to watch or the whole series. And we can go by category, title, or keyword. So if you need to make sure that you catch every single episode of Dotto Tech that is on, we can just type in the word Dotto. We see Dotto Tech is here and actually in our neighborhood, it is going to be on 16 times in the next 14 days. I think that's good Dotto Tech density. So you find a show you want to watch, you choose it. We want to watch one on digital scrapbooking because I love how Steve describes that digital scrapbooking. And we can choose, uh, better than recording one show, let's record the whole series of Dotto Tech so we don't miss any of those fine Dotto moments. Once you've done that, you can go back and at any time you want, you can now send the video to your TV, watch the show. It will completely change your television viewing habits. The Media Center PC is a marvel that you'll quickly become very attached to. I know that if I were to try and pry ours out of my son's control at home, ah, there'd be a mutiny on the home front. But never fear, I'm as attached to the Media Center PC as Luke is.